Today we want to talk about aliens and extra dimensional things, spiritual things. God made two dimensions. He made the physical dimension, which we live on. We're limited to being in there. And he made the spiritual dimension. There are demons who are fallen angels who make up the angels make up two-thirds and the demons make up a third. So always remember the demons are outnumbered two to one. Um, so people are not lying, not all the time, maybe part of the time, when they're saying they had a close encounter with an alien. But there's no evidence of any UFOs or alien extraterrestrial extraterrestrial uh, beings those I believe and many others believe are demons that came and visited them we do know that nothing good ever comes from those encounters it's always some bad result that happens to the person that was involved in it and we also know that during those encounters, the people involved are often, are often or maybe always involved in occult activity. Those people, when they reduce their occult activity, do not have these encounters anymore. So, Another reason we think that these aliens are not extraterrestrials are because of the physical limitations of traveling to here from the nearest other planet which could host life is light years away. Light years away means if they traveled very fast, it would still take thousands of years to get here. And during that time, they would run into so much debris and radiation out in space that it would destroy any of their vessels. So thousands of years away in traveling, it's not, it's not physically natural to be able to do that. However, it can be supernatural. Recently, they have pictures of what they believe to be aliens flying in our fighter pilots capturing these images on, on video. Well, when these crafts fly through the air, There's they're going at thousands of miles an hour, but however, there's no sonic booms. So it would suggest that it is a supernatural occurrence for these objects to be flying through our air. Um, but God's permitting some of these things. And I want to read you some scriptures. Because the Bible is true. It proves itself over and over. For people to, to believe. Once you put your faith in God. He will reveal these things to you. But 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, 
God shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. More and more Bible end time watchers are seeing how people would believe that when the rapture occurs, aliens will be blamed. Even in the past and in, in, in history, all throughout, aliens or, or what people believe to be aliens or demons, and they started out saying, oh, we're from the dark side of the moon, or then they would say, we're from here, we're from there. Now they're from outer space or they're from some other planet. So they've adapted their lies to suit the times. There's nothing new. People's reports of them are very credible. And we believe that they are real. Now, you don't, if you're a Christian, you don't need to fear this. You shouldn't have any concerns about it at all. They're not going to come and bother you because they are scared of anybody who represents Jesus because Jesus has all the power. They can't do anything without him allowing it. But the Bible is real. Jesus is real. Heaven's real. Hell's real. Demons are real. Angels are real. Please consider accepting Jesus now before it's too late. After the rapture occurs, the de deception is going to be enormous. People have no way out of the control of Satan who will just take over the world. So please accept him. Put all your sins on him. Pray to him and say, Jesus, please forgive me of all my sins. I want to go to heaven and be with you. I don't want to be here for this, this horrible, great tribulation, as the Bible calls it, that's coming. Please pray to him, and he will, be, he will honor your prayer if you are if you are faithful and you are honest about it. So until next time, Dan Warren. Thanks a lot. God bless.